So today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial slash review on the 5-in-1 Baby Move food processor. Okay, so this unit was very simple to put together. Um, take the lid off. There are these little gray trays. They just pop right in to the bottom of each um, compartment. And then there's this uh, bottom piece here. The water goes under that. It just pops right into place. Everything stacks really nicely on top. You can just put the lid right on. And then the other side, this is the blender um, the or the food processor part of it. Uh, that bottom part just pops right out of the machine. That literally took me the most time to figure out. But once I figured out that that popped right out, I just set the unit uh, right on top of it and put this nice uh, blender on there. Everything snaps into place and you just twist it on and you're all set up. So I'm going to be doing apples and spinach. I'm going to make sure my fruit's at the bottom tray so that I don't, I don't mix the taste. There's a book that comes with the machine that gives you different cook times for fruits and vegetables. Find whatever it is that you're cooking, hit the steam button, and use the up and down arrows to select the time you're looking for. Once that time flashes on the screen, you know you've done it correctly. So once everything's done steaming, we'll take the food processor and we'll just dump our spinach right on in. So we're just going to take the lid, make sure it's secure, and then pop it right into place. And then literally all you have to do to work this machine is press the button. The directions say not for longer than five seconds at a time, but just hold the button down and you got pureed spinach. And every now and again, you might want to just stop to check the consistency, add a little water if you need to, pop the top back on and just puree again. Once it's reached the desired consistency, you're just going to scrape everything out the puree machine and into whatever designated bowls or storage containers that you have. And then you're going to repeat the same steps for the apples or whatever your other vegetable or fruit is. So here's the finished product. And all, I would probably add a little bit more water to both of them and I'd puree for about 5 to 10 more seconds. I absolutely love this machine. It was super easy to put together, which is saying a lot coming from me. And it has me really excited about making more food for my baby. So I would definitely recommend that you grab one too. For more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.